So hello everybody and uh, welcome at the Sheldrick's Wildlife Trust. We are at the Nairobi Nursery, which is uh, inside Nairobi National Park. And this is a center that is taking care of often uh, baby elephants and often baby rhinos, and later on uh, reintroducing them back into the world. So all the babies uh, you're going to see here are orphans. Uh, we've rescued them from different parts of the country, and they all have different reasons for being orphans. Some of them, we know exactly what has caused them to be left orphans, and that's why we rescued them. And others, we are really not very sure. But since it is not normal for a young elephant in the world when they are under the age of two years, that's why we have to come in so that we can help rescue them. Hundred them here in the nursery for approximately three years. And any time after the age of three, we will start to reintroduce them back into the world and we'll always reintroduce them to Savo Conservation Area, a process that will take a minimum of about five years before they get to interact with different groups of wild elephants who will later on invite them and adopt them in their families. And once they all get adopted, then we can successfully say we've achieved our target. And our main target here is to rescue them since they were found orphans, hundred them, and later on are reintroducing them back into the world. All the 12 babies that you are going to see have been orphaned from different parts of the country with different reasons. And some of them, the mothers have been killed by poachers uh, due to tread in ivory. Some have been separated from their families by human beings, what we call human wildlife conflict. And very few of them. The mothers have died from natural reasons like old age, natural diseases, and starvation back into the world. And all this has happened to the mothers when the babies are still very young, at an age where they would not have survived without mother's milk and also without protection against other dangers. And so that is why we have to rescue them. If you might be joining us for the first time, the Sheldrick's Wildlife Trust is a project that was started officially back in the year 1977, after the death of David Sheldrick, who was a naturalist and the senior founder warden of the Large Savo National Park. He died in 1977, and the project was started in his memory under the management of the widow, who is now the late Dr. Dame Daphne Sheldrick, who's been running the project since then, until two years ago, when she passed on, leaving the mandate to her daughter, Angela Sheldrick, who was running the project together with the mother for about 17 years before the mother passed on. And right now, the project is under the management of Angela Sheldrick. Here comes a group of elephants. They will be coming in in smaller groups for easier feeding, depending with the number of keepers who are ready to feed them. And the first one to come in is an elephant by the name Mukoka, who is approximately uh, two years old, who was rescued from northern part of Asavo East National Park who was identified all along within the park while at the age of about seven months. And as we said earlier, at seven months, one cannot survive without the mother's milk. Elephants will start to develop the milk teeth at the age of between two to four months. And they start to use the teeth to browse on greens after the age of about eight months. And this is just very little at a time. Sometimes they just browse, it, they're just chewing and dropping chewing and dropping but after a year or so that is when they can chew and swallow so that is why it is important that uh, we have to ensure that they are at a position where they can feed on enough greens to survive out into the world so mukoka is only uh, two years old right close is an elephant by the name naleku who is the youngest that we've got in the nursery who is only a uh, one year old who was rescued from the Masai Mara, who was uh, rescued after the mother is believed to have died from a natural disease. The baby left in the company of an auntie who had her own young one that was breastfeeding. And so this auntie could not take care of two babies at the same time, could not breastfeed two babies at the same time. So that is why Analeku would only have been provided with protection and no milk, and so she could not have survived. That is the reason to why we had to come in and help rescue her. Right now, she's approximately one year old. 
and adjusting well in the nursery a very independent young elephant that we've got in the nursery at the moment at her age when they're out they're always uh, following the bigger ones for example Roho is always attached to the big girls in the nursery and that is why I want to say Naleku is a very very independent young elephant out in the nursery at the moment Roho is next to me taking water from the water hole and Roho is about 17 months old Roho was rescued uh, from Sabo West National Park um, and the mother is believed to have been killed by poachers, and that's why he was left alone at the age of about uh, seven months, and that's why we rescued him. The big one right close is an elephant by the name Nabulu, who is approximately three years old, who is the second oldest that we've got in the nursery, who was rescued from the Masai Mara, who was identified all alone within uh, the, the, the conservancy in the Mara, who was observed for about two weeks trying to wait and see and hope that she will be reunited with the rest of her family members but nothing happened but after two weeks it was discovered that her health was deteriorating and so there was need for her to be rescued since there was no sign of other elephants in taking her into their family and she was still young so that's why we rescued her right now approximately uh, three years old the biggest in size is the oldest that we've got in the nursery and the main matriarch an elephant by the name Maisha who is over three years old who was rescued uh, from Sava conservation area whose mother is believed to have died from starvation due to drought and that is why we rescued uh, Maisha who is now approximately uh, over three years and she's the main leader of all the elephants in the nursery because she's the oldest female. By natural instinct, when they're out in the world, it is always the oldest female that automatically becomes the leader in a herd of elephants. Far end is the latest arrival, an elephant by the name Olorian, who is approximately 15 months, who was rescued from the Maasai Mara, who was also identified all alone who was also observed for some days trying to make sure that she's reunited back to her family and there was none that was interested in taking care of her and later on she was observed in the company of an injured bull elephant and the bull elephant could not provide milk to this young baby which means she was an orphan and that's why there was need for her to be rescued you can tell she's still a bit skinny compared to the others uh, just because she had stayed for a longer time without the right milk and the right food and so uh, we have to give her time before she gains some strength and come back to normal but adjusting well in the nursery since she came in we do have an elephant by the name Maktau who is uh, two and a half years old and Maktau was rescued uh, from Sava conservation area near a place called Maktau he was found in our community all alone while at the age of about three months and uh, being found in a community suspects that he might have been separated from his family by human beings or something might have happened and that's why he went up into the community and he was three months which means he was not even had developed the milk teeth and so he was lucky to be found still alive and rescued so far doing all right at uh, two and a half years old at the moment we do have an elephant by the name Naboishu at the far end and Naboishu is approximately almost two years Naboishu was rescued from the Masai Mara and the mother is believed to have died from a natural disease as well the baby found still alone very young still in the family or in the company but at a young age where she could he could not have survived without milk and so that is why there was need uh, for Naboishu to be rescued right now almost two years old taking water from the water hole is an elephant by the name Kiasa who is approximately three years who was rescued uh, from Sava conservation area who came in the nursery during the period when we had the long uh, period of drought uh, which caused lots of animals to die uh, because there was no food um, there was no food because there was no rain and no water so no vegetation most animals died and that is why um, um, we suspect 
uh, Kiasa might have lost the mother uh, in the in the same uh, course. So Kiasa is approximately uh, three years at the moment. Behind Kiasa is Kyombo, who is uh, two and a half years, and Kyombo was rescued from the Masai Mara. Kyombo was also found all alone within the park, just wandering, which is really not normal. And that's why we had to come in and help rescue uh, Kyombo. Far end is Ziwadi, who is approximately two years old. And Ziwadi was rescued also from the Masai Mara, believed to have been abandoned or left behind by the rest of the family members for reasons we could not tell by then. But after some time in the nursery, uh, we discovered that she was not keen on following the rest of the group. She was either being left behind or sometimes going the opposite direction. But after some time, we also discovered that she's epileptic and sometimes she goes into seizures. And once she goes down, then the, left, the rest of the herd will leave her behind. So we suspect it might have been the reason to why she was left behind by the rest of the family members. We put her on medication. She has improved a lot. She had stayed for quite a long time with that without going into the seizures, which means she's improving well. And she's an elephant that uh, we expect to go back into the world when the right time comes. We do have Laro next to me, who is approximately two years old. And Laro was rescued from the Masai Mara, found within uh, the, the, the conservancy, all alone, suspected to have been separated from her family by human beings. She was about seven months old by then, and that's why we had to rescue her. And right now, she's uh, two years old, and she's assisting the big girls to take care of the rest of the orphans uh, here in the nursery. For example, in the absence of Baisha, Nabulu, and Kiasa, uh, you'll be able to find Laro with Ro or with Naleku, which means she's learning uh, from the other big girls on how to become a good mother. So that makes a total of 12 elephants here in the nursery. Uh, they stay with us for the first uh, three years before we take them to Savo East National Park, a process that will take them a minimum of about five years before they get adopted in different groups of wild elephants who will train them, who will protect them, who will own them against human beings, who will show them everything within the park, which means in the long run, they will all have become as wild as any other elephant out there. That is uh, Rojo trying to play with the dust pile. And uh, Maisha trying to observe from a distance. She's taking on the mother role and uh, seeing what uh, hap what is happening to Ro. She will be able to lie down as well. It's always the big one who starts to lie down and attracts the others to do the same thing. But you can see Maisha walking towards where Roho is. The lake will being dusted here, assisted to dust. Next to Naleku is Naboishu. Olorian right behind me, trying to look for greens to feed on. Not really interested a lot in play, but feeding. And she needs to feed on a lot so that she can uh, gain enough strength. And also recover all the body con condition that uh, she lost before she was discovered, having been left as an orphan. While in the nursery, all the elephants are fed on milk on intervals of three hours a uh, day and night. For those that are under the age of a year old, are fed on demand. And at the moment, we've got uh, only Naleku, who is uh, one year old. All the others are over here. And the milk that we are feeding them is not an elephant's milk because we cannot milk a wild elephant. At the same time, we cannot feed them on cow's milk. And so we feed them on human baby formula whose fats have been emulsified to make it easier for the babies to digest. Look at Rojo trying to roll in the dust. 
And this formula was pioneered by the late uh, Dr. Dame Daphne Sheldrick after 28 years of research. And before that, she used the trial and error method. I lost most of the first orphans. But once she pioneered this formula, most orphans have survived and gone back into the world. One elephant taking about 24 liters of milk in a day, and the three young ones taking about 14 liters of milk in a day. Feeding on vegetation out in the park all day. From 6 in the morning, they go out. They're always accompanied by the keepers, but they are, they've got their freedom to do what they want to do as elephants within the park. Some will want to play, some will want to feed, some will want to have a nap. We let them do what they want, but just observe to ensure that they are safe while out there. They come back for bed at 5 in the evening. Each elephant has got a stable where they spend a the night. And those that are under the age of 2 years have a keeper spending the night in the rooms. And this is to ensure that they are fed on demand for those that are under here every 3 hours for everybody else. And also to ensure that they are kept company. Elephants are social animals. If left alone, they become lonely and stressed and can easily be stressed for being left alone. So that is why we have to make sure that the keepers are there because we are part of their family members. They have already lost their families out in the world and that's why we have to comfort them as the rest of the family members would have done. Kyombo trying to get into the water hole and Makto behind trying to push him in the water hole. It is not warm enough at the same time it is not very cold so if they decide they might want to play in the, in the mud as well. Mukoka at the far end and Laro also close to Mukoka. So if you're joining us now, welcome. We are at the Sheldrake's Wildlife Trust, Nairobi Nursery, a project that uh, is taking care of orphan baby elephants and rhinos, and later on reintroducing them back into the world. The elephants have come here for their 3 p.m. milk feed. And so you can see uh, some of them trying to roll in the mud, like uh, Roho right behind Maisha, trying to lie down in the mud. We've got 12 baby elephants in the nursery at the moment. We always have different numbers every now and then because we never know when we are going to get an orphan. About two months ago, we've taken seven elephants down to Savo to start the process of being reintroduced, including Tagwa and uh, Tamiyoi, who are the main matriarchs, are leaving Maisha to take on the leadership role, being assisted by Nabulu and Kiasa, and Laro now learning from them. So the Sheldrick's World of Trust does not only take care of baby elephants and rhinos, we do have other projects that we undertake 
For example, we've got mobile veterinary units, we've got anti-poaching teams, we've got community projects, we've got aerial surveillance, we've got a dock unit, and all this is working together with the Kenya Wildlife Service to ensure that all animals are safe in the parks. You might be interested in supporting the work that is being done by the Sheldrake's Wildlife Trust. You only need to go on our website and find out how you can donate. You can donate towards adopting an elephant, which is costing a minimum fee of 50 US dollars a year. You can also donate towards buying a bottle of milk for these elephants. And if you donate towards adopting an elephant, we will open an account for you and we'll be updating your account every month letting you know all that is happening in the nursery including your baby you also receive a watercolor painting which is done by angela sheldrick you'll also receive the keeper's diary which is written every day by the keepers telling different stories from different orphans and all that will be brought to your monthly basis online you can also donate to us the other projects that are being done by the Sheldrake's Wildlife Trust, like the anti-poaching teams, the mobile veterinary units, the community projects. All this is to ensure that all animals are safe within the parks. Roho lying down, rolling in the dust, very close. Uh, is uh, Maisha, Kiasa, and Nabulu trying to protect him? All the three big girls surrounding Roho on the ground. So I'd like to take this opportunity and thank you all for having joined us at this 3 p.m. milk feed. The elephants will be walking away into the park to continue the rest of the day until at 5 in the evening when they come back for bed. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for supporting us. Remember to keep safe as we shall continue to take care of these baby elephants. As they will walk out, I will very fast mention the names. We've got Naleku in front, followed by Kiombo, followed by Naboishu here. We've got Maktau. We've got Olorian. Far end is Mokoka. If you've adopted an elephant, you can identify your baby. Behind Mukoka is Laro. We've got uh, Nabulu still dusting. Roho next to Maisha, the big one. On the side of Maisha is Kiasa. And the last one here is Ziwadi. So thank you, everybody, and uh, remember to stay safe.